Our team coverage continues from Boston to the Bay Area. KPIX 5's Andrea Nakano is at Chase Center, where Dub Nation did its best to cheer on the away team. Chase Center was packed for this watch party. All the fans watched the game on that center hung scoreboard, and it was almost like the Warriors were playing at home. <laughs> Dub Nation got a taste of what it's like to come to a Warriors game. A lot of families on hand to cheer on the Warriors. But he's rooting, he's sleeping, but he's rooting for Dub Nation. Let's go! This place had it all. The electric crowd, in-game entertainment, and all the concessions. We felt like the game is in, in the house. We didn't feel like they are playing away, like a away game. Everything was amazing tonight. I loved it. It was just love in the house. The only thing they didn't get was a Warriors win. We have confidence in the, in the team and the coaches and, and, and Curry and uh, let's go nation, Dub Nation. Win or lose, I want it to be here. Another watch party will be held on Friday, same place, same time, 6 o'clock. At Chase Center, Andrea Nakano, KPIX 5. I'm Kit Doe in Boston. The Warriors were never really in control, and so that left the fans during most of this game feeling uneasy. <laughs> Interviewing Warriors fans in a tsunami of Bostonian euphoria is a fine line between bravery and stupidity. This was a test game for them. They're feeling things out. We measure the noise level inside TD Garden at more than 110 decibels. That's as loud as a chainsaw. The crowd was hostile. Super energetic. They can't win here. They can't. This is one of the best crowds I've ever been to. It was loud. It was loud. It was loud. It was very loud. How you feeling? I'm feeling pretty upset, pretty distraught. I'm just trying to be polite because, you know, it could be 18 more years till you guys are back. So. In Boston, Kitto, KPIX 5.